All right, hey everyone, one about here, and welcome to Everspace 2. It's the closed alpha. I played the demo, I want to say a couple weeks ago, and I guess they reached, they wanted more, so they reached out and sent me, uh, sent me a copy of this. I'm curious how different it's going to be. Apparently, this is like the first 10 hours of the game, which is a fair bit. The only difference is there's not going to be voice acting and probably bugs and some other missing features and so on and so forth, but still. I like vertical slices, especially when it's that big. Approaching extraction area. All miners stay in formation. Wingman, you take up the rear. Understood. Interesting. So I'm assuming that's just placeholder voice acting. Scrap. At 10 hours, What's that's wrong? a lot. Yep. Boosts are jammed. Could need a push. Hey, Ben. We've got another lame back here. Got it. <laughs> Let's meet by the poor guy. Oh, I love this voice acting. Any idea what it is? Just a laggy jump drive. There you go. Good as my granny's old creaky knee. Thanks, Ben. I'm starting to run out of nanobots. Say, how's your ship holding up? Just the usual wear and tear. Don't tell me you want to run another mobility check. Can't risk you breaking down in the middle of a fight, can I? Well, all right. Knock yourself out. First, show me two nice healthy straffs. Left and right. I... I'm gonna be honest. I... I would hate this voice acting going forward, but I would absolutely adore it if they left it as an option. There. And there. What about your hover thrusts? Man, I can so hear you smile. Isn't it nice to have someone who cares for a change? They got, like, some actually decent machine, uh, voices. Now some rolls. One. Like, the freaking Ben guy is great. Two. Finally, I need one last straff. With a boost to the straff. right. As Slinky Rocket Dodges go, I'm giving you a four out of nine. Yeah, you're in good enough shape. For the junk pile you're floating. Try telling that to Callahan. I bet 10 creds that if we don't catch up, he'll threaten to remove this shift from our tally. Nah, he's a jerk, but not that bad. 10 creds against it. Let's not keep him waiting then. I... Stay this voice acting is incredibly cursed, but I love it. Not yet. Don't know much outside of the DMZ. Once you get your pass, you'll need to tell them something. How about Eden 12? Ridiculous name. But I heard they terraformed themselves some decent mountain lakes. Man, I can almost smell the fresh air. I feel well, like they should just lock in the intern like in a closet really and have him read every line What's the without changing his voice at all. Infestation clogging up the entrance, and since you are the one who gets paid for these things, I thought I'd be so kind to let you earn your points. I'm on it. Like, just hire an intern, hand him the whole script, not even tell him, like, whose line it is. Just read all of this in front of the microphone. We don't care if you make mistakes. Like, that'd be, that'd be pretty great. What the hell is this? These look really gross. Entrance still clogged. Well, you tell me. Ben, you run last checks, then follow me. The others wait here until I give the signal. You're leaving us unguarded? You know this is standard protocol. Just look after yourselves for a while. I'm going in. <laughs> this voice acting is so cursed, I love it. It's so good. Like, absolutely this will get fixed. You do not have to worry. Holy shit, this looks great. Looks like the last ship never left. Like, jokes about the voices aside, this looks great, controls better, and I can't wait to play the full thing. I'm not going to play too much of the alpha just because, like, I don't want to burn out too much. But they were kind enough to send it along, so I kind of wanted to. Uh, let's see, can I go to the options? I just want to turn down the sound effects a little bit because they're a little strong. Let's turn the voices up a bit. That should be better. Scale of Reddit reading YouTube channel to glorious perfection. How would you rate this? Definitely Reddit reading YouTube channel. Like, one of the cheaper ones. Like, freaking ass goblin levels. 
the game. <laughs> Story um, behind that. What's with all the dead miners? Apparently they had a run in without laws, which ended bad for both sides. I'd say it happened less than 48 hours ago. How can you tell? Because the Hydra had time to spread but haven't devoured them yet. So there could be survivors. Maybe, but who knows what side they're on. So be careful. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Yeah, it's like the streamers that have text-to-speech donations. I wonder if there's a way that you can get it so that those don't, uh, don't read out terrible things. Huh. Could I have an NPC in a D&D &D campaign controlled by one of those without destroying everything forever? Maybe? Probably not. I think it would go terribly. Let's see, anything else around here? I'm not being terribly thorough because I'm pretty sure they're going to delete all progress before, like, the game even comes the out. The entrance to the core is blown. Let's hope my missiles will do the trick. Huh? A rogue drone? A last survivor? We'll see. Taking more damage by bonking into a wall than anything else. Damn! Tell Callahan to hold position until I had a look inside. Man, please watch yourself in there. I really am digging the visuals for this. Like, Everspace 1 was pretty, but you didn't really get to explore much. Like, the environment was dull and kind of nothing. There were some pretty bits here and there, but beyond that, not much else. This, though, super freaking Back good. Off. Scrap. I'm not letting some Brady and Brunt flee whack me before my rescue squad arrives. Sorry, well, pal. But there are no rescue squads out here. Everyone, the risk meter just went way up. We should call off this operation. Not happening. Didn't I ask you to stay out? Yeah, and to look after ourselves, which is exactly what we are doing. If there are outlaws involved, we need to get this thing over with and speed things up. Let's get to work, people. We got quotas to fill. I don't like it. That guy was some kind of outlaw big shot. He even had a custom-made coil gun. Try to look on the bright side. There is one? Yeah, it's your custom-made coil gun now. Right. Have an eye on the miners. I don't want any crystals to end up in the wrong pockets. Hey, what's with the shaking? I don't know. Scrap. Could be the rescue squad. I never called for one. No. But the guy I just fought did, and since his pals probably already spotted our patrol outside, they won't just come in with medics. Son of a lizard. Alright, I want everyone to stay calm and clear of the walls. I got this. Gum. Time to earn my points. That's a giant hey, drill thing I'm gonna do. Hey. What did you do to our commander? Keep moving everyone. I'll lock onto them and let my missiles do the rest. Only one left. I like this UI. Very easy to read. A lot of information presented That's that I honestly don't know half of right. it, but still. We're okay. Pal, take my last nanobots. You will need them. My senses indicate there are more waiting in the main shaft. Let's take the fast lane and bust through that drill. I love this cursed voice acting, it's so good. Like... Women, you go first. That patrol better be doing their job out there. 
It's super silly, but it's it's actually kind of fun to listen to. I, I'm going to send the developers a tweet and be like, can, can we keep the machine voices as like a permanent thing? Not for like, as like purely an optional thing or like, hell, I would pay a buck for a DLC that's just like cursed voice acting. God damn it. Try to slip past. I'll keep him busy. More of them. Huh. I wonder if that that would be kind of a fun series to do at some point. Just get a bunch Scrap of YouTubers together. My engine's overheating. I can't jump. You'll fix it. See ya at base. Hey, you can't just leave me here. Sorry, Ben. They're just trying to get out while they can. How long till you can jump again? Engine's too hot. First it needs to cool down. I'll buy you some time. I mean, I'm doing fairly well. The destroyer is freaking spooky. I don't think I have the missiles to deal with that. But I do... I can kill almost all of these scouts, like, no problem. I feel like these guys are, are endless, progress? though. Kinda, with a bit of luck. Oh, scrap. Scrap, 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 scrap. What's happening? <laughs> the gen's burning. And now it's moving all the way up to the cockpit. Use the extinguisher. You got this. I got this. I got this. Yeah, not gonna lie. I'm like, I'm listening to the dude, like, just cursing, uh, cursing his own, like, misfortune oh, and some other oh stuff no. is just... Uh, uh, uh. Ben? I'm burning for soul's sake. <laughs> Hold on tight. I'm on my way. Wow, and there's just more of them coming in. Yeah, Ben definitely ben, sounds... I'm coming. Way more natural. How the hell did he get all the way out here? Nah. Almost there. Nah. <laughs> ben, are you okay? What the hell was that? All systems are down. Was that just a random generic looking cylinder? I think it was. <laughs> Move. Inside. Damn it! You're wasting your energy. This place is sealed tight. Blocked by a force field. Just sit tight and make the best of it. Looks like they threw you quite a welcome party. I've been here for quite a while already. Just a regular checkup on what I might know. Where did they grab you? Your outfit looks like G and V work crew. You guessed it. The guys here <laughs> got no style. Bunch of amateurs. They'll be looking to get the best price for you. So, given your professional opinion, you know a lot about outlaws. Hell, I know a lot more than they'll ever get from me. You hear me? Newcomer. Where's my friend? He's in the bed bay, for now. Maybe he'll live long enough to fetch a good price. Your DNA scan will show that you are a military clone pilot. I thought they were all gone after the war. I wonder what your face value is. What if I broadcast your profile? That would be a bad idea. You may not like who will come looking for me. Why would I heed advice from a clone? I know my business. Interesting. The station is under attack. And the turrets. Friends of yours? Yeah. The kind you want me dead. Power outage. The force field is down. 
This is our chance. Let's try to pry the door open. Damn. Help me. Grab the door. Whoa. Cut. Let's get the hell out of here while they're distracted. This way to the hangar. Wait. I'm not leaving without my friend. Don't be an idiot. He's a dead man. Okay, get your friend, but hurry. Hey! Uh, what's happening? It's our chance to get out of here. Come on! Uh, forget it, man. I'm done for. No way. I'm getting you home. We're here. Let's go. I might have more luck with a clone pilot at my side. Well, that cutscene was decent. I like the the like hand painted animatic look. Watch out! You may call this a warning shot. Pilots are advised to disengage at once. What are the Colonial Fleet doing here? We'd better stick together if we want to make it out of this alive. Get ready to jump. No dice. Drives are jabbed. There's a jump suppressor down there. I hope you know how to handle a cannon. This isn't my first dance, you know. Right, the clone thing. Shooting things is in your genes. I don't know which I like better, pulse laser or the actual. Can I get it? Oh, you that doesn't damage. You can suppressor. Fly close and hack. That's the way to go. All right, so no weird hacking mini game. Down. Good. Jumping is still suppressed. My sensors detect two more. Let's keep out of view and find them. Just stay clear of that cruiser. Uh, that'll do the trick. Where's the other one? Careful with the shaking. Sorry, pal. This is bound to get bumpy. I'm loving the visuals. I'm really digging the music. And obviously the gameplay is solid. Like, I don't know. This is a great way to make a proper sequel. And have it be kind of its own beast, too. I'm not even sure what the hell that was locked onto. Uh-oh. Okay. Can't just ignore that. There we go. That's better. I like the EXP system, too. Like, it seems like there's going to be a lot of really neat stuff lurking and waiting for us in this game. Two down. I don't get it. The fleet has no jurisdiction here. They must have some kind of understanding with the other authorities. With a cruiser that size? No scrap. This is our last warning. Scans have been initiated on all units. Hand over the clone. We will find him either way. It's you thereafter. I told the gas mask not to broadcast my profile. Let's finish this and get the hell out. So is this the main protagonist from the previous game? Because I never, I never finished Everspace 1. I wanted to, but I just time it was also a hard game we've identified you mr roslin i'd suggest you submit your sentinel without struggle hold on tight ben we're about to jump oh man you okay buddy damn he passed out they're tracking us you need to disconnect your nav now. I can't fly blind. Do it. Okay, all scans are dead. Now what? I'll give you some offline cords. 
One second. There. See that sweet shiny marker? That's our way out. I've seen clones fight before, but man, not your first dance. You're a goddamn prima ballerina. What's your name, pal? Adam. And that's Ben in the back. He's doing quite bad. Let's get him into stasis in my old hideout. He really needs a medic. You won't find one out here. Not with a fleet warrant on our heads. Scrap. We were so close to getting out. Plans are for fools, my friend. I'm Dax, by the way. Looks like we'll be stuck with each other for a while. Oh, this is so good. Like... In other games, I might be kind of ruffle, uh, might be, <clears throat> in other games, I might be like, okay, I'm just going to do like half an hour and then we'll stop and then we'll come back when the voice acting isn't hella cursed. But now, with this, I don't care. I'm having a great time. <clears throat> like, it just controls so smooth. The ships look amazing. The environments look amazing. And like, I'm bobbing with the music. This is good stuff. And yeah, the robot voices are actually, like, really funny. Let's hope that the old rust pile still stands. I bet I would die if I just ran into this at full speed. and the severely wounded Ben arrive on an abandoned military outpost which was once Dax's hideout. Dax guides Adam through the base to the bridge. There, they realize that there is a problem with the main reactor which needs to be repaired. Dax explains that they can place the wounded Ben in a cryopod for the meantime. While carrying Ben to the medical bay, they discuss what needs to be done with the base. The cryopod will hold Ben until they can find power and medical supplies to cure him. Adam insists on knowing more about Dax's background and long-term plans. Dax, however, asks Adam to be more patient and trusting and promises that more information will come. Adam, although suspicious, realizes he has few people he can count on. A lot of stuff needs fixing, but we're still good on resources to patch up our ships or refill our ammo should things go south. There's also some space in the storage unit, so feel free to dump your cargo whenever it's getting cramped in that sentinel. What about the generator? Here's the list of what we will need to fix it. Scrap metal, a cooling unit. Think that's pretty straightforward. The cooling unit could be a problem. Check out the nearby debris field. That's your best shot at finding one. Okay, uh, let's see, so restock? Not that we have too much restock. It'll cost, we don't have any money. It's fine. I will be okay. Launch. Let's just ah toggle auto restock. And auto repair. I'll just keep those on. I should have enough resources, there won't be a problem. And let's go do some adventuring. Flying blind. So go to wreck field. Yeah, we'll do that. Keep an eye out for small wrecks and some shiny blue bird up. The metal scraps should be easy enough to spot, though. Just so you know, as soon as Ben is back on his feet, we'll be leaving. And where to? You can't escape the DMZ without a pass. We'll figure it out. Right. And in case you shouldn't, you know where to find me. Alright. What do we got? Liquor, power cells. Yeah, so this is going to be a long scavenging fest, but that's okay. We've got a visitor. Is it the fleet? No, just a lonely outlaw scout. He must have detected us when we reactivated the hangar. Leave him to me. Who are you? This is our turf, you know. I guess there's a lot more cursed voice acting in our future than I thought there was going to be. Oh well. There. Hope you guys enjoy Alone it. Again. Those fools. If there's one thing that the DMZ does really well, it's making people reckless. Just another reason why I can't stay. I get that, but I bet the guy you just blew up used to say the same thing. Give me all that Vardom crystal. Yeah, it's a decent chunk. More raiders. Make sure that the airspace is cleared before you head back. Don't want anyone to kiss this base and tell. 
Okay, damage. Two basic types of damage. Kinetic and energy damage. Sh While shields are solely affected affected by energy damage, armor platings can only be brought down with kinetic damage. Once the shield is down, the armor destroyed, both the energy and kinetic damage amount will decimate the hull. Usually a weapon deals both types of damage, but depending on which value is higher, you'll want to use different weapons in different situations. Hey, yep. Knockroach was right. We've got new neighbors. Let's give them the tour. I'm just going to ignore them for a little while. Scanner keeps picking up cool bits, so I'm going to grab those instead. We'll go back for them in a little while. Because they can come to me. I'm going to be looting. Checked off everything on the list. As there is countless amounts of loot just kind of floating out of here. Are they coming? Well, one of them is. And that was it. I think only one of them figured out where I was and the other two were just like, Ah, eh, we'll get to them at some point. Oh, that's some good damage. That's some really good damage. Didn't so extra HP, weapon damage, crit Something chance, and device cooldown. Cloaking suit. Hey, leveled up. Okay, increase your base stats, which will give you bonuses to those. Uh, you've also received a device upgrade token, which can be used to unlock a device mode for any of the devices now you own. bring the parts so we can get a generator of world. Well, mining with a chain gun, definitely a little bit more satisfying. Okay, do I have enough? Oh, yeah. I have more than enough. Let's go fix this place up. I like the Elite Dangerous weapon system. I like it. I always wanted to try Elite Dangerous, but I heard it was just such a time investment that I couldn't really get into it. I'm big on single-player games where I can, like... Oof, that was bad. Uh, Single-player games where I can just hax it if it's too grindy. Climate control and access to some data regarding the CETO system. Could the data help me see again? I can't fly blind forever. Good idea. If we were to reconnect our navs, the Colonials would immediately hack our asses. But with this, open your map. The data is quite old, but not entirely useless. There's still reliable information on the locations closest to us. CETO outskirts, Rhodia, Orbit, and Union Bridge. That's not much. It's enough for now. At least for what you're about to do next. I need you to fly to all three locations and keep an eye out for devices indicated as being bags. They're custom made signal distractors and should have kept this base off enemy radars. What about Ben? If we get him back on his feet, he could easily repair them. Right now we're lit like a bonfire. If we don't figure out what's wrong with the distractors, there may not be a Ben in the long run. Tend to the bean bags and make us vanish. That will give us time to figure out what to do about your friend. Okay, so we're here. Go here. Set waypoint. Alright. Easy enough. Let's see. Do you have limited ammo? Yes and no. Uh, it comes back. So... Oh, you're at it. We could need some more Verdum Crystals. The last batch wasn't enough to keep the generator running. They're usually all over the place, but most common around the CEO outskirts. Got it. Uh, let's see. What was I... What was I going to say? Right. The uh, gray bar to the side of my UI is how much... Um, Let's see. Uh, is how much ammo I've got left. And then you have to wait for it to cool back down. It's not that big of a deal. But it means you can't just be firing forever. Uh, the one thing is you do have to restock missiles. So if you notice on the right side I've got, I've got a missile count of 15 out of 15. That means I will have to restock occasionally for those. But I don't use missiles nearly as much so it's not that big of a deal. There's also, I think enemies will often drop them and some other stuff. Oh, energy socket. Oh, this is the beanbag. We're supposed to get the energy thing, I think. 
Okay, that's too far away. Maybe? Or right, that's something else. I don't know. One way or another, can't do anything with it for a moment. This is going to be the final voices for the game. Heck no. But Found. I'm going to... Looks like an asteroid bumped off half of its antennas. I'll run a hollow scan to simulate the crash. Fingers crossed that the antennas got caught up somewhere. Uh? That's kind of cool, so I'm just supposed to go looking for where the antenna might have ended up. There it is. There's one. If the joints are up for it, you shouldn't need a PhD to reattach them. That's cool. But yeah, I, I'm probably going to petition the developers to keep the machine voice acting as a, like an option because it's fun to listen to, but I doubt they will. First part fits. Okay. There's there it the is. other one. Good as new. Okay. Now how to activate it? Just fly close and charge the link. Oh. Okay. First beam bag is back online. Excellent. But for a proper act, we'll need two more. Okay, and the other two are elsewhere. So, I might as well wander around. Is the sensitivity as bad as it was in Everspace? You mean like mouse sensitivity? I don't know. I wish I could tell you, but I don't remember it being bad for either. That was exhilarating. Okay, let's go check this out. I'm not picking up a whole lot on the scanners, so it doesn't seem like this is going to be the kind of place that I want to spend too much time on. Okay, alt. You've fully charged your ship's alt. Alts are special ship abilities that can be activated to unleash a mighty offensive or defensive power. Usually charged by shooting down enemies, but and have to be used to be able to charge uh, to be able to charge again. Be sure not to waste your alt on a single weak enemy. But at the same time, don't save it for too long, as it's just a matter of time when the alt is fully charged again. Freaking Palpatine up in here. a uh, little silly but I kind of love it okay still got plenty of shields who else is here outlaw missile silo I had no idea that was a thing goofy as shit but I love it Can I break this stuff? I can. It doesn't really seem like there's too much that I can do here. So whatever this is, pointless at least for now. So let's find our next objective. That one is... Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's just go. Okay, so we got Why Union are Bridge. Called bean bags? Because they make our station's map indicator jump around on the map like bean bags in a juggle. It will show up all over the place, but never where we actually are. Keeps the crowd guessing, and is safe. Hmm. So we're also picking up some other undiscovered sites that I can check out later. 
sooner or later, really. I guess it doesn't matter too much. I'm probably going to focus on the story just to get it out of the way. Oh, I love the warp music especially. It's so good. I see you've headed to the rim. If you need better tech, there used to be this trader around. Any sign of a beanbag so far? Don't know. I got this marker jumping around on my display though. Could be it. Try to follow it and keep me posted. Okay, so I want to visit the trader, but first... Oh, that's a resource. Plating. Oh, do I not have a plating slot? So most of these are useless to me. Just want to make sure I don't sell anything that I need. Alright, so let's go to this guy. Wait, McClure? As in like Troy McClure? Oh, Probably is. Oh, you look at that? Customer or outlaw? Customer, I guess. But can't you be both? Not here at McClure's. I'm running an honest business. I see. Say, laddie, you look like you could very well handle those outlaws. Are you up for some challenges? Hunting outlaws in a mall creative way I will even throw in some reward for you what do you say let me take a look okay challenges outlaw hunt kill five outlaw scouts affected by EMP drones with missiles webbers well not webbed easy enough all right so what do we got I'm just going to sell most of the trade goods. I'm sure that there's probably some kind of trading system. I do want to sell these at specific locations. But for this, I'm fine. Okay, so what else do we got? Mainly, can I buy any other ships? The answer is no. Let's see, so I got a decent chunk of money. Wow. Oh. It's the recharge delay and the shutdown duration that's kind of painful with that one. The rest of it's decent, though. Eh. I don't really know if that's worth it, though. Oh, wait. Oh, now I can equip plating. So maybe it's just I can't modify my ship while we're here. Companion perks. Each companion comes with his or her own perks that can have multiple levels to unlock. Unlocking is done by fulfilling requirements. Sometimes you'll just need to provide simple resources. Other times you're also asked to accomplish certain tasks. Note that all resources you're investing in a perk cannot be retrieved. So always think about what and how much to... Okay. So a lot of these... I can't do. Or maybe I can. Weapons can be dismantled. Extra tractor beam range. I can't do any of this anyway. Like, we don't we don't have the resources, but that's cool. Hey, and this is a pretty good stopping point, at least for now. I've got some more stuff to flip through, but still. Uh, so, this all of this footage is from the alpha, which I think has ended at this point. I might mention that it's open now for people to play. And I don't think that's actually the case anymore, but the demo is still available. So if you do want to play a little bit of Everspace yourselves, uh, just head on over to the Steam page and click uh, download the demo. And you can play more or less this. Actually, you'd even have access to more stuff and a boss fight and some other things. So I don't know. I, I love this game. I can't wait to play it. It's slotted for December 2020, which I mean, considering how 2020 is going, I wouldn't be surprised if it isn't delayed a little bit. But who knows? I... I can't wait one way or another. Is Everspace is great. Cursed voice acting aside, I, I do remember a wreck. 
but it's that's been really all that there is to say there. about the matter. So I guess with this, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, well, I've got two more episodes in the pipeline, and then otherwise sit tight because it's, it's going to be a little hiders. while. That explains. But once we get there, oh, I'm going to play the heck out of this. So until then, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.